great battle ensued, and the fortress's defenders might all have perished had Ciri not demonstrated her powers. So sudden and violent was her outburst that the wild hunt was forced to withdraw. The battle was won. The war had barely started. There we are. Right, I, I like that because it always I remembers or reminds you of what what happened last. So yeah, we had to end on an abrupt note last time, right? Uh, fortunately, after the, this death. So now, uh, once again, I forgot to close this thing out. So let me close that out, and there we go. And now we're set. So we can go talk to Avalok. The uh, Why no one to her to control this? Actually, elder did teach her. elf. Clearly to no effect. I think. I think he's an elder elf. Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help. And for looking after Siri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Sirel from here, Haida. And then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care more Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the, the help hunt. of enemies. We need sorceresses, arch mistresses of magic. You mean the lodge? It doesn't look like we have a choice. Don't trust the lodge one bit, but doesn't seem like we have a choice. Because we don't. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum. Yo, in what up, Lodge. living legend? How you doing, that man? That will be our bargaining chip. Triss, I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? Of course. Even got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again, you planned without even asking what I think. I've had enough of this. I won't be taken somewhere like a bundle. I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding. You're right. Prove today you can take care of yourself. Easier to pat someone on the back and hope things will work out than it is to face the truth. Jirel possesses a great power she cannot control. She is a danger to herself, to others. Until she learns to control it, she should remain isolated. First of all, mm. bollocks. Second, if you're going to speak <laughs> of courage, at least address me directly and not through Geralt. I'm gone. Let her go after her. Wait, she needs time. Oh my god. We must let her resolve her grief on her own. Everything I'm doing. Then we should start training as soon as possible. me not to. She must learn to control her abilities. This training really necessary. You saw what happened. She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Fine. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. Meet at Dandelion's Inn. Come on, Yen. The sooner we leave, the better. See ya. Oh boy. So what is thy plan? I guess we're going to meet with the Lodge? See if they'll actually help. A few days later. It's not working, don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? See it out. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. <clears throat> we shall return to this later. Good getting ready for it, play Kakarot. By the way, Siri is a badass. Yeah, she is. Far first time out on the gun that that's either. awesome. How are you Girl, liking that please, game so far? Now. By I've never been one of her, uh, in the park. Dragon Ball. But that's not the point. So, is, I don't know last, much about it. Will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Tell me, 
How do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. Uh. Hmm. Don't know about vanilla pudding. Could work. But nothing picks me up like Lambert's famous homebrew. Suppose it can't kill me. Might as well try. Two hours later. Cat got a catch. That strong. Maybe you want to try a different method. We've tried at least twenty. Wouldn't let it worry you. Not like you need to excel at everything. You're great with a sword, an excellent archer. Leave the magic to mages. Yeah. Pull me another. <laughs> he ate that whole thing. Oh my god, you can see the cat's belly is huge. <laughs> Why can I not tell whose feet that is? Oh, it's Geralt's. I was gonna say, uh... What? What? What's happening? Get up. We must go. I've saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen. Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. And guess who's the guest of honor? Enlighten me. Don't know. Enlighten me. Imlarith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where'd you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts. Caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. Why do I doubt Avalax a fan of this idea? Do you see him here? I left him a letter. We'll rejoin him in Novigrad. Come. We shall talk on the way. Uh. Lead on. I could have said, oh uh, well, I don't think it matters too much. Ready? I don't think. I'm not sure. Let's I don't go. remember what I did the first time. If I if I uh, made her visit the, the Emperor. Morin, the defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. Imrorith is the big tank dude. Yeah, that guy. Oh, so I went to, um, over the weekend, I went to New York City and I went to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And there's one area that's like armor and swords and like medieval stuff and a bunch of like revolutionary guns like Colt and oh my god Smith and Wesson and Colt have been around for years it's crazy like they had flintlock pistols and all types of stuff it was so cool though I took a ton of pictures that and seeing all the, like the different styles and types of armor like actual legit armor from medieval ages and uh they had a lot of Iranian armor and uh, just like everything you could think of. <laughs> I love how she calls him by his first name. Isn't he her dad? Uh, he's, he's not her dad, actually. But like, he Our is like a father figure in a way. I don't think it's. I'm pretty sure it's not like her actual. The ladies of the wood, a terrifying tale for naughty children. Unless if that was something I was never aware of. But I'm pretty sure his wife died. Daughter's in Novigrad. 
A true shame. Let's get this done. She, she's we yeah, she's the, the um we'll find there. the emperor's the daughter. Of I'm pretty sure. Night, the feast of gifts. I have no idea why. Find a way to Have the mountains somewhere. Is greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Caranthia, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalog's student. Mm hmm. Should I shoot? He's an outsider. Let them approach. But they've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fire us down that away with food and drink and plenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. Hmm. The down by the fire. We thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. I'm always so confused. Why does that let you exit the conversation? Or is it just going to be like, if you exit the conversation, it's going to be like, come back when you're ready. Or will it skip all this? And be like, oh, we're in a rush. <laughs> we should go. We should be going. <laughs> Eager to see the ladies. Me. Me at parties. Share your yearning. <laughs> We're a fire with yearning. Show up. We must sit get down. Before daybreak. Go People want to communicate. Alright, I should go. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. <laughs> So we could have just denied him from the first place. Oh god, we're on fire. Alright, let's go talk with... I don't even know how to say a name. Thecla? That's a godling, not a child. No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. Oh, that's Johnny? Actually? I see you found your lass. I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided though it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? Looking for a path we to the summit. The Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you, but I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass, she is stubborn as you. Even more so. Figured as much. Oh, path to the peak starts there, past the gate. But only old Thecla's got the key. <laughs> so <laughs> did the kid you say you found your lass? You no, he said now. found your lass. Close, slow. Very close. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over we yonder. We shan't. I wish you luck, and do hope Ugh. we meet again. Someday. Moons are rising, owls hoot, fires just a Bald Mountain. None of you is worthy. Uh-oh. Mm, who's that? Well, come on, come closer, girl. Okay. Aye. What's she like? 
Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. <laughs> Never had a man. Never mind. Got me answer. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. Whoa. If she goes up the mountain, I go with her. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes like a viper. I stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. You misjudged me. I'm worthy as anyone. Mm. Girl? He's sprier than any youth. Only smells like corpses because he kills monsters. And he'll kill any who stand in his way. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right, you may appeal my choice. But to do so, you must best the challenge. Oh, of course. That's... <laughs> Take your challenge. I accept the challenge. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Come. Jump. That's it. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defiers Aura. You have to find the coin. Now, bring <laughs> me the coin. Okay. Gee. Now I have to find it. Wait, I can shoot these guys, right? Ah! Okay, keep 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 going. I don't have all that much time left. Here I'll... Oh god. Oh god. Go up, up. Nice. You can put that away. Come on. <laughs> really? I'm just trying to climb out. There we go. What is that? Oh, no thanks. Not today. Easy enough. I was beginning to worry. Oh, it's been like literally two what minutes. Do you want? Here's your coin. Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, gonna keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for ye. Now go. Now go. That went smoothly. Weren't All the right, one to see. diving in that cave. Stop. You're a witcher. You dived in murky waters. Yeah, I have to okay. tell you about the time I hunted a zoo. Wait. Are we supposed to be following someone? Where did the wolves come from? Oh, we're following her. There's Siri. Okay. Now we're good. Open sesame. Ah! 
two. Is that talking <laughs> fungus? Or is that his name? What's your name, girl? What's yours? <clears throat> your name don't matter. Atop the peak, you'll lose it and get another. You may go. I and you? I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it? The Defiers, Oren. A death sentence. No way. You traitor. Oh, it's Fugus. Here's your death sentence. One tough son of a bitch. We've no time to lose. I'll turn to Imlirith, you take the crones. Avalark said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlirith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> I love how they took off his gloves for that. Damn it! Two out of three! Fate has decided. Out of the question. I'll climb the mountain, <laughs> you face the crones. Hardly a challenge. I hate when that happens They're in games where you pass who you're. Be careful. Uh, where you pass who Me you're too. following because the AI is so slow. Oh my god, yeah. I didn't even realize that I was supposed to be following her. <laughs> that happens a, a good amount in this game, too. Some of them run to the destination, like if you stay within close enough range. Other ones, like, they only walk, and it's... Ugh. It's the worst. Classic video game. Issue. Oh, well, I didn't examine it. We didn't really have any other choice though, so that's all right with me. <laughs> Her sword is freaking out. Oh, oh, oh! It's the ladies. How was he? He lived a life of love and knew no bitterness. Wow. Wow. I forgot about this. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. You've talked enough. Now we slay them. Oh, God. Ah. Ah. 
cool. Ah, uh, uh, no cool executions. Gross. Wait, did it just fly away? Damn it. Oh shit. Him the red sent a summit. Gotta be. So we went from taking on an army to now we're just gonna do this on our own. power. What sign is that? Quinn. It also tells you <laughs> right after you do it. Oh, 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 I remember this now. Okay. <laughs> what the? Like, very central. Huh. <laughs> Y'all better run. Oh boy. The sisters said you would come. They saw you arrive in the water's surface. They did not see the girl. But she is with you. Is she not? I'm here alone. A lie which will change nothing. First you, then her. Come on. Yeah, right in there. Wait. I thought magic traps are supposed to... Ow. Damn, you're ugly. Ah! I was just bleeding for a second. Who taught you to fight like this? The Witcher you slew. Like burned to his face. Just turned him into Darth Vader right there. Damn. Oh, man. 
Ripperoni. We did it. Part one. Barely. How'd it go down there? We slew only two of the crones. The third fled with Vesemir's medallion. My song memento. You avenged Vesemir. Avalark claims vengeance is only ever satisfying when served cold. He's wrong. Now to find Eredin and kill him. That's a good screenshot. An Orin for your thoughts? Wondering what to tell Yennefer when we get to Novigrad. Tell her the truth. Always. I wonder if Triss and Yennefer have found the sorceresses at the lodge. We ought to rejoin them. Oof. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's get going. Thank you for coming with me. Come here. <laughs> Come here, you. Get over here. Let's go. The oak is dead. The oak, the crones. I fear that was your last feast. What of our acorns? Don't know, don't care. You must learn to live without them. This is no longer no man's land. It's no longer the lady's land. It's all yours. But what are we to do? Come, Geralt. It's time. Manage on your own. They're all like, but, but, but how do we do that? That was good. Making good progress so far. So far, so good. It's Navigrad. I think it is. Looks like it. It's changed a bit since I last left. Radovid's growing bolder. Hmm. They say whoever takes Novigrad will take the north. A free city full of riches, tempting prize. Rosemary and Thyme. Dundee Lion! Ready some tankards! With guests! Geralt! Siri! Somebody's when got I the learned, hiccups. Geralt had found you. Glad to see you in one piece too, Dandelion. Where have you two been? Just finished hunting down the crones of Velen and a general of the Wild Hunt. Well, you were a busy mall then, haven't you? In fact, you look terrible. Like you could really use some rest. Gladly take some. Point me to a room. 
course. Come on, little swallow. I'll take you. Let's meet later, Geralt. I've a little matter to resolve. Gonna make me yawn. I'll freshen up, then await you in the square in Gildorf. Right. Anyone here besides us? Lodge of sorceresses. Triss and Yen were supposed to gather the remnants. They're working on it. Triss is upstairs, waiting for you. Yennefer's gone to crippled Kate's. Yen? At that portside dive? Why? Didn't inform me. Imagine that. Ah, and that elf of yours moved into the ruby suite. Told me to tell you he's waiting, too. Thanks. Looks like I'll have my hands full. Alright, so let's go talk to each one of them, I guess. Easy. Final preparations. Uh, who is this? Triss? Okay. Greetings, Triss. Have you lost your mind? You went after Imlarith by yourselves? To the Sabbath? How could you put Siri in danger? What? Come on, we came out of it fine. Can't say the same for Imlarith. That's the sole comfort I find in this. But it's no justification. You know what might have happened? But it didn't. I was there. Had the situation under control. Mind if we change the subject? Any success with the lodge? Anyone out there willing to help? It doesn't look good. Ida outright refused, while Francesca won't budge from her little realm with a war raging. We don't know about Frangilla. Haven't been able to contact her. And the others? Kira, Margarita, Philippa? Kira was seen in Velen at one point. No word of her since. She could be dead. I sincerely hope we can contact Philippa and Rita in time. Oh boy. Where are they? Know where they are. Yennefer's looking into Rita's whereabouts. I have to figure out where Philippa ah, that's, is. Ah, that's why she's over there. So, learn anything? A few things that could be interesting. Prefer the long version or the short? Short to the point. Guess. In short, she was here. At this inn, under our noses the whole time. Transformed, seated on her perch with a dimeridium band on her leg. Zoltan's owl? Mm-hmm. So why isn't she here anymore? Because Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. Oof. <laughs> Kidding, right? Sadly, no. A man showed up here, fleeced Zoltan Bear, then proposed they play for the owl. Naturally, he won, then politely thanked Zoltan for the game and left. Who was it? Know where he lives? He's not from here. No one knows him. Great. We got any leads? We have this. That Philippa the Owl's feather? Thinking divination? Specifically hydromancy, and a form of sortilage. We need a fountain where we won't be disturbed. Uh... Meet you somewhere later. Need to take care of some... Fine. The fountain outside the passive... Okay. We'll do that. I just want to chat with the other people here too, I guess. Okay, but we need to keep going up. Where's the rest of the stairs? Ah. Is this Yennefer? No, it's Avalok. Oh, I didn't have it selected, that's why. Need a hanky? Gotta admit, never expected this of you. <laughs> you humans have mm, unusual tastes. <laughs> How did you fare on Bald Mountain? Need to ask. You're a sage. I ask as a courtesy. A concept you clearly forgot when you left without uttering a word. Siri was in a hurry. I know. So she wrote in her letter. But that is not my concern. You eliminated Imlareth adeptly. So adeptly you might say you inspired me. 
What you got? Meaning? The loss of one of his great generals has weakened Eredin significantly. Two others remain. How do we get rid of them? Caranthia is a loyalist, but Gels, that is another story. He was a devoted follower of our former king. And as it happens, Eredin poisoned our beloved ruler. Gels would betray Eredin. Serious stuff. Take it not many know about this. Of the living, only I. And Eredin, of course. Question is, can you get Gels to believe you? Nothing you need worry about. What do you intend? Fine. So what do you propose? Why, to bring Gels here. Show him the truth of what happened. Fabulous plan, if we only knew where to find him. We do. In the land of the NL. Think you're forgetting something. You and Siri might know how to travel between worlds, but me? Not so much. You clearly know there are many other worlds apart from the one where we now stand. They're linked by passages, hidden gateways that afford travel from one world to another. Of course, few know of these gateways. Even fewer can locate them. Elven sages, for example? For example. One such passage will open soon near where we are, fortuitously enough. Between this noble edifice and the butcher's yard. That's our chance. Shall we go? Yeah, let's go now. Let's go. I should have did uh, the let's go with Triss, but that's okay. I didn't know each one of them was going to be like, every time you talk to them, they're going to be like, okay, let's go now. House. Supposed to drive a godling from here. Supposed to? Decided it was harmless. Time is what it's daytime, so shouldn't I be healing? Ow. Oh. Oh. Well, you wanted braids. But I didn't want my hair pulled. Can't have one without the other. Then I don't want them. Wait, did you just go down? Oh hey guys. Witcher, Witcher. Kareen, look who's come. Huh. Live here together now? Didn't know. Once you told me Sarah had been responsible for my nightmares, I decided to see if the devil's as scary as they paint him. Or her. I came in to find not a fiend, but our little Sarah. And I can't say why, but we took a liking to one another immediately. Long ago, to isolate themselves from a world of beasts, humans began building cities. But since beasts prowl within stone walls as well as they do outside them, this did not allay human fears. The truth is, walls guarantee no one's safety. The place where you lock yourself in and lock all else out, that's not your home. Your home is sometimes a place you travel long and far to find. That was random, kind of. But I get it, too. Passages here, past this wall. Whoa. Well, that's kind of cool. This is the place. So I wasn't supposed to go upstairs, but I did anyways, and it Once we uh, enter, cued a cutscene. No returning until we reach Gels. Ready? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> I didn't even get a choice. Wherever you land. All right. Search for a place that looks like this one. We shall meet sooner or later. Mean we'll be separated? It's possible. I lack your ward's talent. Zirel is the lady of time and space. I merely know how to use this arcane knowledge to a limited degree. It's time. It's time. I hate portals. <laughs> Empire of Nilfgaard has already conquered many kingdoms, uh, so they're conquering all of them. And they're currently trying to conquer another. That's why nobody likes Nilfgaard, I'm guessing. I 
We we weren't separated though. Where are we? Welcome to the Didawet Desert. There's somewhere in our world. Ever seen such canyons in your world? Come, we must go. Hmm. What is Definitely this place? pretty cool. A very old world, thoroughly raped and destroyed. Anything live here? Mainly desert creatures, able to survive months on end without water. Oh, and large sand crabs beneath the surface. Hmm. We must be careful they don't sense us. And before, were there any people or elves? Do you believe humanoids have a monopoly on destroying worlds? So what did live here? One second, I'm just going to see if this, uh... Yo. Graphics. I'm going to try putting it into borderless window. Sentient monsters of some sort? Look at those cliffs. Remind you of anything? Hmm. Look a bit like the bed of a giant river. Or the bottom of a sea? Mean there were water creatures here once? No creatures. Merely a sea. You're trying to say that... That there are many different worlds and even more forms of life. Many of them intelligent, much more so, in fact, than you humans. But as it turns out, not even that could stop them from exhausting all the resources of their world. To the last drop. I don't know why he walks... <laughs> this time, Geralt's the one that walks slow, and he doesn't. Ah, the portal. Looks more like a ruin. Appearances can be deceiving. So what are we waiting for? For it to open. Shouldn't take but a few moments. No reason to tarry. Come. What's going on? The sand crabs have sensed our presence. Wonderful. Oh, great. Here they are. right into it. Have a look. Oh, that's good. There it is. There it is, but... Part of me actually remembers this. Papers don't look terribly inviting. Ow. <coughs> gotta hold my breath. Any longer and I'd have suffocated. Alright, go! I'm going, I'm going. Oh god. Climb up. Holy crap. Game save. <laughs> yes, sir, girl. Take some food. <laughs> Literally only drinks one and he gets blurry from that. Oh 
god. This is a bad time to drink one of them. I can't see. I take this drink out of here. During combat. Okay. Alright, I'm just running for it. Nice. That was actually kind of cool. He jumped up and rolled on the rock right into it. Oh god. I'll actually freeze. Uh, can we slide down this? Oh boy. like this someone must have lit it with any luck it was a certain grouchy oven sage the snow's up to the rooftops wonder how long this blizzard's been blowing very long bruh i'm trying to get in cover Wait, I'm supposed to regenerate health during the day, according to my the mutagen. There's only ten points per second when not in combat. But I'm not. That one healed me a lot. It's a good thing I have all this food. won't protect me, will it? No way, it does. Oh, that's cool. Go, 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 go. Oh, God. Oh, that's not good. All right, go. Let's see if we can. Can we just run on there? Go. Nice. <laughs> that actually worked. Took you a while. Did you run into trouble? Just a little. No, just taking in the sights. What is this place? Feels like I've been here before. You have. 
You fought Eredin's projection here. Before that, Ciri fought here. For you. What are you talking about? Ever wondered how you managed to leave the Red Riders? Many times, but I don't remember a thing. Ciri came for you. She sensed you were in danger, tore you from the hunt's grasp, <laughs> then deposited oh my you God. in the woods near Kaer Morhen. <laughs> Did Aridan start hunting her because of that? Because of me? Why didn't she say anything? What would it have changed? Absolutely nothing. Let's go. Doesn't look safe here either. Let's go. This way. Next passage. When will it open? Shortly. To the next world. Gale's Palace. That's it. Alright, out of luck. This to you, Nalia. The Palace of Awakening. Formerly the Moon Palace. Gale's headquarters. It reminds me of the elf from uh, Dragon Age. But obviously nicer. Mm. Beautiful. I'm glad to know you appreciate One day. I will Elven replay is a bit more Dragon Age 1, 2, is there 3? Inquisition I think is 3, technically. One day. Oh, who's this? And why are they here? I believe we're done for the day, my tulip. Be a dear and leave us alone. For I think we can agree this matter is between us and us alone, correct? Look who it Three is. Three Spain, Coman Maka, and the Witcher of Rivia. Ketmil. Do you like my new model? Something of Lara Doran about her, wouldn't you agree, Grievan? Her height, perhaps. Nothing more. <laughs> I see I've touched a tender spot. So let's change the subject, shall we? Care for a drink? Not in the mood. Didn't come here for tea. Hmm. I must admit, you appearing here. Quite the surprise, Witcher. Incidentally, interesting choice of allies. Do you think Avalach is honest with you? Just curious. I think that even among the NL Elves, there are those capable of being decent. Naivety is a fool's blessing. I detect a shadow of impatience in your faces, it seems. So what brings you here? I've come to tell you who killed our king. You've gone through a great deal of trouble to reach me. So I must believe you've put equal effort into preparing this lie. You shall see the truth. You will dream it. You've been a neuromancer. My intuition was correct. This will be interesting. Tired of your pseudo-sophisticated courtesy. Let's go. Where to, if I might ask? To the world of the Enche. Directly this time. Let's go, before any guards show up. Damn, he's tall. And what a painting. What the heck? <laughs> Something else. All right. Witchers like sources, sorcerers, eh. Witchers like sorcerers, says sorcerers, says. Are infertile, so they can't, none of them can have kids. Rip. That sucks. Or maybe it doesn't.
so hungry right now. I need to take a break soon, but we're good for for right now. I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, Cyril. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? Tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advise Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised. Where is it? You will see it. In your dream. Ah, yes. The Oneiromancer. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eredin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eredin? Call for revolution? And proclaim Avalach our new king? Don't flatter yourself. Defy Eredin. That's all you need to do. Very well. Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. We shall all dream them, to make certain there are no misunderstandings. Why not? Seemed angry when he said, why not? Wide angle engaged. You must face him on your terms, in this world, in a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Sail to Skelliger and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Nargofair. Eredin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no NL will answer. You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tien Aliar will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me. Siri seems happy. like things are turning out to be all right they're looking bright too just as well could have been bluffing might have just said that so we'd let him go damn it we should have pressed him calm down Avalark knows him better we'll hear him out when he returns speak of the devil Geralt's worried he believes we let girls go too easily can never be too careful. Agreed. Yet I do believe Gels will keep his word, withhold support from Eredin. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the Sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that. Defeating Just Eredin will like be no small that. feat, but we will accomplish it. Find the sorceresses of the lodge, and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. All right. <laughs> Good now. 
that. I'm curious about this little matter you have to resolve. When I was asked in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me then. It just put us out of a cutscene and then into a new one. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? <sighs> sure, let's go. Oh no, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. I press. Mm. Wait for daylight. Wait, so. Talk to Triss. Uh, let's go ahead and meditate till time. Let's do uh, 6 a.m. Helps her take care of her business. Yay. Who's the closest? Yennefer? Yennefer it is. Shoot. I wish I hit yes. And I wouldn't have to travel all this. Hopefully this doesn't kill me. Oh no, it killed me. How can you die from a second story, Geralt, when you've jumped through so many portals? And... Never mind. Video game mechanics. Ugh. Jeez, this is taking a while. What if it puts us back in that conversation? I mean, I'm cool with that if it does. Like, literally, right when the last quest just ended. And then I can hit yes. Come on. I think it is the longest this game has ever taken to load for me. Wow. Actually, though. <laughs> All from jumping off a second floor to the ground. Oh man, dude. It honestly might have been faster to just straight up close the game and then relaunch it at this point. But it's almost done. So I'm just gonna let it go. Here we go. I think it is putting us into the cutscene. Yep. Good. Okay. That works for me. When I was last in so. a few people coming with. Yeah. Lead. We don't remember you be nor am I now. Alright, that's better. I don't know if it was worth waiting that all that, but I'll take it, I guess. Maybe that's why it was taking so long to load because it might have had to register that we completed like that last quest. Where are and we it's going like, exactly? okay, now we're loading you into this area. This now we need to load genius. the next quest. Wait, what? He's dead. A bit late for that. He's dead. I asked Sultan, and he said Horson's alive and well on Temple Isle. I was there, stuck a sword in his gut. Your hand must have slipped because it seems he's recovered. What? How? Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? Don't know. Depends what I see. Who did we kill then?
What? Here to see Mr. Wiley. Mr. Wiley's expecting important guests. So bugger off, you... you... Chance! Make a deal, maybe? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. A deal. Go on upstairs. <laughs> Boss How was New York? It was good, but how you doing, man? That was strange. To say the least. I wonder what they're doing. We'll know soon enough. It was definitely a lot of fun. Went to uh, two museums and uh, walked through Central Park, hung out in Times Square, ate some oh, good well. food. Who do we have here? And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Finally found your little ward. Took your sweet fucking time. Seems in fine health to me. Ah, because you thought you killed me that time. Surprise the fucking prize. Shut your trap, witch. Before somebody fills that owl for you. Enough. I'll finish what you started. Whoa, whoa, stop. It's me, Dudu. Dudu Bieberfeld. You really didn't recognize me. Dudu? Oh. Wait, Siri. After the heist, after Dijkstra's vault was emptied, you vanished. How'd I find you? Quick. Butcher's yard, the mama's plane, Priscilla's. You dragged me onto the stage. Sheathe your sword, Siri. It's doo doo. God! You give me quite the scare. What? Wouldn't have had to if you hadn't impersonated Horson. What the blazes were you thinking? Once we'd fled. I'd no idea what to do. I could only hide for so long. They'd find me sooner or later. It wasn't our decision. We knew he was dead, but not many others had caught on. That was my chance. Mm. No one mourned for Horson Jr. In all his miserable life, he'd never helped a soul. Amusingly, once dead, he became useful for society. They say everyone deserves a second chance. Seems true enough. Orson got his, in a way, sharing it with a doubler named Dudu. <laughs> that was courageous, Dudu. I'd never expect it from you. Neither would I. Oh, by the way, you've no idea at the relief I feel you're alive and well. And I'm relieved I didn't slit your throat. All right. Time's up. Right. We must still go by the Golden Sturgeon. It was nice to see you both. And take care of yourselves. You too. So long, Dudu. That's actually pretty cool and pretty smart. Why are we going to the Sturgeon? Because they have so many loyal people too. Who might that be? A friend of Dandelions. Her name's B. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Help me contact Dandelion. I wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The temple guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Always getting into trouble. I take after you. <laughs> True that. visited a city once that was very much like Novigrad, but the people there were much taller and had dark skin. This somewhere in Zeracania? No, in another world. Hmm. What's it like, hopping between worlds? Anything like passing through a portal? Or different? Hmm, a bit different. It was hard going at first. I wasn't very good at controlling it, so I had to concentrate intensely and hope I didn't land in the crater of an active volcano. The training I did with Avalark was very helpful. Now, I hmm. merely think of the place I wish to travel to, close my eyes, and it's done. That's pretty cool. Looking to enlist with the temple guard.
Here we are. Gave you a chance. Should have taken it. I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners, you're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Sure it is. You're a fucking freak too. He is. Very dangerous at that. The butcher of White Orchard. What'd he do there? Trim the trees? Yugen. He slew half the village. Dragged the bodies of the alderman and his wife behind his horse to Novigrad. Let's get out of here. That's pretty good advice your friend's offering. S -s Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I seem more determined this time. You shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Geralt of Rivia. <gasps> that Geralt! <laughs> <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Siri, didn't you have something to take care of? Right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh, my. It's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning. Thanks. <laughs> But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Chilling. Well, Same here. Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our Witcher. I will. So long. All right, one more stop. I think. So, your friend B. What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt. You're terrible. What I say? What's there to see in the far corners? The camp of some traveling circus performers. Non humans. <laughs> when I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met because the temple guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee Novigrad. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copper to my name. Then I met Valdo. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. You know the rest. This friend of yours? Hmm. There! Valdo! That. Wait, which one? Oh, that guy. Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello. <coughs> What's this? Brought your granddad? Agar, hey, you're incorrigible. <laughs> Allow me to introduce your granddad. Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Exaggerated tales from Siri. Likewise, and thanks for helping Siri. Oh, we had no choice. Found it hard to refuse a lass like her. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. We'd have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Provided we can find the animals to carry us. Two of our horses dropped on the way. Another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so naught to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our nags for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. Alright, Ben. Thanks for stopping by, man. Hmm. 
Get some rest. Anyway, we can help. As always. Oh, don't fret about us. We always get by somehow. Right, Siri? What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back posh. and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. Hmm. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? No thanks. No thanks. Not up to it today. Ah, for every ache of body and soul, there's no better remedy than Kedweny Golden. Isn't that right, Siri? As rain. <laughs> Stay with us. Bonfires to be lit soon around which all will gather. This night shall be ours. I like getting out of the horse races as much as I can. <laughs> More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town. Not worry a whit about anything. Good plan. Think I'll go with you. Then our future's settled. If that is, there's more than ash left of us once this is over. Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning, for me at least. Don't worry about that yet. One thing at a time. Yeah. You do know you can always count on me, whatever happens. I do. Thank you, Geralt. <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Me too. Being a witch is a burden sometimes. As is my inheritance. I'd so like to be ordinary. Problem is, you're not. You were born to greatness. As I've been hearing since I was born. All because mm -hmm. of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. to meet all of these powers but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing hiding then it's time to end this once we defeat Eredin you'll be free really Eredin's hardly alone there are others they have plans for me it was the sorceresses of the lodge once now it's my father even Yennefer you're forgetting Avalach Avalach's different he is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands, not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. If you say so... You doubt it? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves? Yes. Bonfires, wine, jugglers. What more could you ask for? I could name a few things I'd trade it for, but it's a life. You seem concerned. Things not go well with the merchant. <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses, but we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. Buy him. Gotta be another way to solve this. 
Just so happens I got some coin I could lend you. We'd have no way to repay you. Wouldn't have to. A generous offer, but not one to resolve this situation. The merchant didn't object to our coin. He objected to us. I'll not trade with such scum. Believe those were his words. And if he'll not trade, we've no choice but to steal from him. Uh, what can I do? Got it. Yes, yes. <laughs> She's so excited to steal. Steady. All right, let's just go steal these horses. Not only do we fight armies hunting for Siri, but we steal steal hey, horses for friends out. too. Siri and I'll try to get inside. All right. Just asking for even more trouble. Oh, no. That gun. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty easy. I thought it was going to be harder than that. That wasn't bad at all. Excellent work. Did you see the two fools who tried to chase us? Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Yeah, a nice change from killing monsters. Thanks for your help and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt. Not bad. Who's the best now? Is there a, uh... Okay, good. Then. There's a checkpoint up ahead. Or oh. fast travel point. <laughs> That way we can get just a little bit closer, Long I think. Let me check. Uh, actually, it won't take us much closer there. If we are going to this one, it would. But since we're going to Yennefer right here, it won't. Um, real quick, before we continue then, I'm actually going to take a, a quick break. Um, just fill up my water, get a drink, and uh, run out of the bathroom. So, uh, this thing just disconnected, of course, right as I was about to use it. I don't know what's going on with that. My stream deck. This. One sec. There we are. Okay. Yep. I will be right back and then we'll go ahead.